My goal is to look like a full-on cyborg. I like when men are just interested in your physical look. There's so much like average looking people here. As of today, I probably had maybe spent $300,000. I've had so much lip filler at this point, doctors refuse to touch my lips. I want my whole lip to like take over my face. No, I love it. It's yeah. good. It's an aesthetic. At what point are we gonna stop? Hello, Hooked on the Look. It's Matteo Blanco here, back. I'm known as King of BBLs, but now I'm ready to take my lips to the next level. So since you guys saw me last time, I had at least maybe 20 injections on my lips. I've had more filler on my which you guys already saw last time was already pretty big, but now it's like humongous. Total, I've had maybe three BBLs, full facelift, a lip lift, ab etching, chest, abdomen, back, arm, leg, lipo, and everything was just transferred straight to my All my teeth are fake. I had rhinoplasty. I've literally had so many procedures like I've already forgotten about. I want everything like enlarged, max, the biggest you'll see. So normally it takes me about two hours to get ready. I don't like to be rushed. And if I am rushed, I'm not going. I'm not showing up. To maintain my look, I'd probably say 2,000 to 3,000 a month. But that's just like basic essentials. If I had to say like facials and like other surgical stuff, maybe 5,000 a month. People, I don't know why I always think that I have like a sugar daddy, but I do not have a sugar daddy. My first BBL I had, I took out a loan. I was always so like attracted to how men lust for women. I thought it was time to maybe start upgrading some sexual things from my end and get the same amount of attention. Guys that are interested in me are the type that will fetishize me because obviously of my looks. But that's kind of why I did the whole surgery thing. So I was on the show dating different. Right now I'm pretty stoked because this is my first date in like maybe five years. Have you ever like talked to anyone that looks like this? Um. The boy was really sweet. I'm sorry, I already forgot your name. <laughs> oh. Damn, no hi, no nothing. Hopefully I can actually eat this because my lips don't close. Oh my God, I'm literally like dying to get like some more lip filler right now. Like that's the only thing. Everything else like I can live with. I've had so much lip filler at this point. Doctors refuse to touch my lips. So hopefully today will be the day. Cross our fingers. Definitely need a shot for this. Who is it? Hi. Hey. How are, How are you? you? So today I'm actually gonna go with my friend Logan. He's one of my really good friends. I don't think I've told you before, bro. I think my lips right now are like small compared to what they were when you met me. <laughs> I mean, like, at what point are we gonna stop? Are you just waiting for, you know, some kind of injury to happen? I think at some point there is a limit where we should I know. think I know. about it clearly if it's a good idea or not. I would go for the natural look if I need. Need I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, you're addicted to plastic surgery. Like, relax. Like, you already did all the surgery that you could do. But I'm like, babes, not to be like rude, but like, if you could do it, you would probably do it like as well. So, yeah, I would say I'm addicted. Why not? My family is super Christian, like, hardcore Christian. They're very, um, let me take you to church and like, pray this away or whatever. They also know that I'm happy and that's all that matters to them. When I go out, I get a bunch of stares. I know how I look. I know I don't look normal. And I've had people like literally try to sneak like a little picture of me while I'm out. And if I notice it, like I'll post for it. I'll be like. Thank you so much for coming today. Of course. So I was hoping to actually go bigger lip-wise. I know it's already like incredibly huge right now. That my last injector from California, she told me to like hold off already like for a little bit. Yeah. Because um, I guess she was like injecting already some on one side and then mm -hmm. the filler would like pop out from like the other side that she was injecting. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we'd be glad to do it for you, but I would probably wait 
I'm like, I want my whole lips to like take over my face, so. No, I love it. It's yeah. good. It's an aesthetic. You'll get a better result if you hold off for just a little bit. Uh, when the time is right. The yeah. time is right. I've read the same comments like over and over. Go ask for a refund for your surgery. It looks like you're about to pop. I'm like, girl, can y'all go touch grass or something? Go do something else. Like, I'm not bothered. Go do something better with your life. We're all in our own journeys, like no one's in competition. I just hope everyone else can see how beautiful they are without bringing someone else down. So the next procedure I'm planning on getting would probably be having my ribs completely taken out. So it changes the figure, but like more feminine, which is already kind of dangerous because as a like born man, like we're not supposed to have like all these curves. So even for me right now, I have like these terrible like back problems. And then I'm gonna do a hair transplant, I'm gonna do another facelift, I'm gonna get my teeth redone, I'm gonna get my lips done bigger, and I'm gonna get my <laughs> done bigger. But that sounds like a workload. I don't think I will ever stop getting plastic surgery. Yes, aging is beautiful, I agree, I agree, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But me personally, no, if I have it, I have it, and I can get some work done when I'm like 60, 80. I'm like gonna put like a whole Kim Kardashian on you guys. If you guys want anything like this, get your up and go to work. From a biblical perspective, our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20. And while it's important to care for ourselves, obsessing over physical perfection can lead to spiritual and mental distress. Mateo's pursuit of bodily perfection through surgery reflects a deeper longing for acceptance and fulfillment, which can only be found in God. In Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20, it's written, Surely there is not a righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. We all have imperfections, and seeking surgery to attain an idealized image may provide temporary satisfaction but cannot fill the void within our souls. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Instead of relying solely on physical enhancements, Mateo could seek guidance from mental health professionals to address underlying issues driving his obsession with surgery. In Psalm chapter 139 verse 14, it says, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Each of us is uniquely created by God, and true fulfillment comes from embracing our inherent worth and finding purpose beyond physical appearance. Ultimately, true transformation comes from a renewal of the mind, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, which can be achieved through seeking God's guidance and understanding His love for us. Mateo's story serves as a reminder that external alterations cannot satisfy the deeper longing for acceptance and purpose that only God can fulfill. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. God bless you.